Today's video is going to be on this hydroponic grow kit that I bought. I've had it for a while, never got around to actually putting it together. Uh, it's getting close to Christmas, so it's going to get cold, even here in Texas. Good thing I have knives on this. Oh, there's a lot of pieces. Instructions can be done. I do. There's a lot of pieces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's this for? Tweezers. A uh, little bitty pump. Wow. Okay, so that's why you, I guess you start your seeds in these. Here's your grow cups that fit into these little squares like that and your plants grow with the water flowing through them. And then there's more pipes. Yeah, I think this is one time I'll actually read the instructions. I won't show putting it together fully, I'm sure. I'll show you at the end because this is gonna not be a snap, or will it? All right, yes, it really did go up together in a snap, uh, but you'll see how it actually gets put together if you continue to watch the video. Um, it's not too hard. All right. So that's what it's going to look like. A long piece. Another 90. Okay. So, you, for what I can tell, you put this middle size one on. They're a short one actually. Then you put the 90s together, and then there's a longer piece so that the bangs will actually stick out from the others. Looks like this goes here. 
45 centimeters. Unfortunately, I don't really know my centimeters very well. But I think this is how it goes. goes up again. Should have cleaned this floor a little better. And cross. It's actually not too hard to do. Just a little bit time consuming and trying to figure it out at first. But what happens Gotta be something that we're doing a little bit wrong. No cross uh, parts here, looks like it. So it just goes up like this from the T. Yeah, I should have uh, done this a little better in here. Um, and then you put the 90, put these little slip things in, looks like it. Uh, this goes up here. And. Where are you? And these little guys. It all just kind of snaps together, sticks together pretty easily actually. And there should be one long one still. going together pretty well. It's taking a second. All right, we're going to figure out the next step and we'll show how to do that in a second. So far, we've got it uh, set up pretty much for what we understand. We're going to continue to do it. We got each layer pretty much done. We got to figure out what the end caps do from here. Um, I know that there's this little guy that goes into one of them and feeds the water through. All right, well, we'll get back to it and we'll show you the rest of it in a minute. I think we're pretty much done with the build. Uh, it comes with this little guy here. Um, where did the hose go? And then this goes on this hose here. This is always easier said than done on this barb fitting. This goes into the reservoir that this will drain into. There's a little pump that comes with it. Um, it's got a timer on it. And so this actually plugs into this right here. Just slides on. And then you put that there, the water's in here, gets pumped up, goes through each one of these, down, 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 then back through here into the bucket, and it just keeps doing it over and over again. Uh, you have to put the nutrients that you want the plants to grow in. Um, you put the neck cups in. You just snap them in, looks like it. And looks like they have some kind of styrofoamish type material that actually you put the seedlings in or seeds and then it'll sprout up and grow. Um, this bottom one seems to actually be at an angle probably to help the water flow. Um, I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm not sure exactly the purpose of it, to be honest, um, but it seems to be like that. It kind of looks like that on the drawing, uh, but if not, I'll let you know that it wasn't. But at this point, 
I think the construction of it is pretty much done. I have to get a bucket that's not included in it, but everything else in this video has been included in the product when I bought it. Um, and we'll see how it grows. I'm gonna probably put some peppers and tiny tome and some other kind of tomatoes up here. Um, some lettuces and stuff like that, and maybe some spinach, um, maybe some other Randall things. It's 108 uh, growing sites, and it should be interesting. I can't wait to show you what goes on with it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and follow along if you want to see how it grows. Y'all have a good one. Bye. See, I told you. No. See? Uh, see something? Uh, if you actually want to see how it went to go, to, if you want to see how it goes together, continue to watch and you'll see how it looks putting it together. Yeah, I said put it together too many times. <laughs> All right, if you, there's no cross spring. Uh, all right, to be, to be, to be, to be.